Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it'll take you over to our website where you can see the pricing on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, please call my brother Luke in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2002 Pleasureway Excel TS. All right, folks, we're gonna go through the inside of this Pleasureway Excel TS. As always, I will start at the front, then make my way towards the rear of the coach. What I'm gonna to try to accomplish is to get you a couple different angles so you can get a feel for the space inside this RV, as well as the overall condition. We are a small family owned and operated dealership. My father started this business in 1976. Myself and my brother have taken over most of the day-to-day -day operations. So if you stop into the dealership, you more than likely see me or Luke. We are a no pressure sales place. You are more than welcome to spend one hour up to eight hours during our regular business hours touring this one or any one of our RVs. If you want me or Luke to tag along with you to show you the ropes, we'd be more than glad, happy to do so. But if you prefer to look by yourself for a while, again, we are no pressure, so you're more than welcome to do that as well. Got the microwave on the top shelf up there. And the wardrobe here. We've got a rack up here where you can hang your clothes. I'm gonna use this board on the right for the bed in the back. Got a table on the left and table legs sitting on the floor. We also have the smaller round table behind the driver's seat. One of the positions that you can put the table is right there in that uh, little plug will pop out and put the table there. Vinyl flooring through the kitchen and bath area with carpet in the uh, front in the coach and the back in the bedroom or living room area. Levels gauges for a black gray fresh water and battery, water pump switch, remote start for our own in 2800 generator showing 321 hours, switch for a hot water heater, and then we've got a carbon monoxide propane detector. Storage above the kitchen area, stainless backsplash over there around the two burner cooktop. Single basin kitchen sink. Place the board or the cover over top of that to give you some extra prep space when you're getting ready to cook. Uh, this is a newer Dometic three-way refrigerator, uh, not the original one that's, that was put in it, uh, but it is newer. I'm not sure how old it was or how old it is. Uh, it was installed by the previous owner. That will run on 12 volt electricity, 110 volt electricity, as well as propane gas. Got the propane furnace down there. I'm going to spin around here and show you the wet bath. Uh, this wet bath is one of the main reasons that people go with the pleasure way over the road tracks because it is more of a contained bathroom. Got a medicine cabinet with mirror on the wall, shower head, bathroom sink, toilet down bottom. This here's your drain pan where you're gonna stand where you can sit on the toilet while you're taking your shower. Uh, but people really like this because you can close the door, the water and everything is contained in there. Unlike the road tracks where you're gonna shower in the aisle. We do have some staining in the carpet there. Uh, all the cushions, carpet, everything is steam cleaned. Uh, the guys scrubbed that, uh, did not come out. There's a stain there. Storage everywhere that they can put storage. We've got the switch for the power sofa bed, thermostat for the propane furnace, DVD player. While I'm panning around here, we'll run the bed down. Storage all the way around the bed area back here. You can see the rooftop air conditioning unit on the top. Again, the bed, the sofa bed is power. Hold the button, 
bed runs down into the down position. You can use the board here to span this gap. You bring the bottom cushions in, the bottom cushions in, and you can make one large bed back here. Uh, this actually has three different sleeping options. You can make the one large bed like I just demonstrated. You can do a twin bed model. You can sleep here and here. Or you don't necessarily have to put this in here. Uh, if you're a single person or you really like to cuddle, you can sleep two people crossways there. So a lot of versatility with this bed here. You can just hold the button, run it back up. The window on the driver's side is your emergency egress window. The window on the passenger side does open. You can see all the cushions, uh, fabric, everything is still in really good condition. Fuse panel and circuit breakers down bottom. What do you say to a skeleton that's going on vacation? Bon voyage. We have a 13 inch flat screen TV. Again, DVD player is tucked up there. Got the fantastic fan in the ceiling. Really, really nice, clean coach. Uh, this is a 2002, has right at 50,000 miles. Uh, cushions, fabric, everything is in really good shape. Do have the one stain in the carpet here in the rear. Outside shined up very nicely, interior cleaned up very well. Uh, my personal opinion, taking into consideration the aids, the miles, what should be considered normal wear and tear on a 2002? Um, I'd, I'd pretty easily write this thing in about a nine. Uh, very, very nice clean coach. Uh, somebody has upgraded the radio that does play CDs, DVDs, uh, has navigation, backup camera displays on there as well. Uh, there's a couple cords there that you can hook your iPod or other devices into. Uh, I believe it also has Bluetooth, so you can do hands-free calling. Again, Ford E350 chassis, cloth front seats. Do have one tiny little blem in the carpet right there. Overall, super clean, nice coach. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. All right, folks, we're going to run around the outside of this Pleasure Way Excel TS. We are 20 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. We have four brand new Firestone tires. We have an 11 foot awning. This sits on the Ford E350 chassis. It's powered by the 5.4 liter Triton V8 engine. The two white vents are the vent for the refrigerator. Vent for your propane furnace. Coach battery. Got a couple of exterior outlets on the back passenger's corner. Got a pretty good sized storage compartment here. See on the back end, we do have the tow package. We have a backup camera mounted on the license plate. Gonna fill our fresh water tank here. Vent and access to the propane water heater. A smaller storage compartment on the rear passenger's corner. Sewer hose storage. We're gonna dump our black and gray water tanks here. Uh, this one is cable TV, city water connection. Gonna hook our shore power cord up there. Outside shower, gasoline tank, propane tank, valves for our black and gray water tanks. And last but not least, our Ona 2800 gasoline generator.